Great War Chinese, Book Two, Unit Two, Annex Door, Gu Wan Dian, Gu Wan Dian. Today, I want to talk about something about bronze. Bronze is an alloy of copper, stannum, and platinum. After the invention of this alloy 5,000 years ago, bronze prevailed immediately and led our ancestors into a new stage, the Bronze Era. Generally speaking, bronze culture underwent three stages: that is, the forming period, the thriving period, and the turning period. The forming period indicates the Longshan culture 4,500 to 4,000 years ago in the Neolithic age, while the thriving period from Xia Shang to the Zhou dynasties. The artistic achievements of bronze vessels were extremely brilliant. The artistic achievements of bronze vessels were extremely brilliant. Bronze was widely used most as music instruments in sacrificial temples, as weapons of war, and as the vessels in court life. Decorative patterns then were the most delicate and diverse. Popular patterns were the lines and beast faces, which were mysterious, and lines depicting dragons and phoenix, which were believed to be mighty and auspicious. Gradually, people developed more complicated means of adorning their vessels. They instead jade, turquoise, iron, or copper into bronze vessels, for which posterity admired their wisdom with awe. Ding is a kind of vessel that could cook and be only possessed by kings and officials, excluding common people. 133 centimeters high and 875 kilometers heavy, Simu Fangding, the largest and heaviest bronze vessel in China, was believed to be forged by a king of the Shang Dynasty for worshiping his mother. It represented the highest artistic level of bronze. Okay, let's view the world. And next door, Gu Wan Dian. Thank <laughs> you.